Previously on Omori We explore the initial areas one more time before heading off to the Pyrefly Forest in search of Basil. After finding a few wooden tracks and dealing with tons of spiders, we are finally able to reach the lair of the King Crawler, who we defeat. Eventually, we enter Sproutmo Village and meet the majority of the Sproutmos that moved from their previous colony. At the same time, we discover that Sweetheart is starring in a show to find her new boyfriend. Fortunately, we already have front row seats. But before the show can really get started, we have to deal with a power outage that suddenly puts a stop to the whole production. Alright, welcome back to Omori. So I did some some side research and whatever. The plant I killed last episode is actually a boss. And since I dropped the anvil on it, I'm never gonna get its um full fact page thing. So I'm never gonna get its like this. So rip that. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I'm never gonna get it because I technically never fought it. But let's read a few of them just to get some of some out of the way. Forest bunny, cute and fluffy creatures that may or may not attack people without warning. Aubrey, I think it would probably make for a cute pet. Okay, pretty normal. A regular forest bunny, but upside down. Why does it do that? It seems inconvenient. Its ear muscles must be really strong. Okay. Lost Sprout Mole. A dangerous, a dangerous and hostile ugly plant creature. It says it is smart, but do not believe it. It is not. It smells like dirty laundry. Okay. Big strong tree. We never beat this, but we did fight it. Wow, it's so big and strong. I wonder if you can actually defeat the big strong tree. Dust Bunny. The sneeziest of all bunnies likes to hide in bookshelves and under the bed. Seems a little shy. A regular forest bunny with a bubble on its head. This allows it to breathe in space. Omori. I'm guessing it likes to space out. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> it likes to space. Oh. UFO, also known as unidentified flying orange. A highly advanced orange commonly seen aimlessly floating through the vastness of space. It still tastes like an orange. Good to know, Kel. The features of the Venus flytrap resemble that of a common watermelon. It is an evolutionary trait that is used to lure in unintelligent prey. Man, I was so sure it was a watermelon. Ah, yes. Unintelligent prey, indeed. It is said that the wormholes are capable of connecting widely separated regions of space and time. But this one's just a worm. I don't like how it wiggles. A relic of the past. It seems awfully cheerful despite its impending fall into obscurity. I used to collect this a while ago, so that's where they all went. Aren't you tech- Okay, in, in this mind space, isn't Hiro technically super young? So I used to collect this a while ago. You, you collected it when you were even younger in grade school, I guess. Because Hiro's about to go to college, I think, in this... Uh, in this headspace and in the real world he is in college so i guess it works i guess it i mean i guess that's how it works dial up an ancient form of accessing communication networks makes a horrible ear piercing sound when used true ah uh, this sound reminds me of the good old days true doombox the revived spirit of a boombox a portable method of transporting loud noises Shark Plane, an aerial predator carrier capable of swooping up unsuspecting passengers at max speed. You never know when you'll end up once you board a shark plane. Okay, we, we can just finish this first group. I think the next group is... No, this is the Orange Oasis. Yeah, let's get rid of this first part, then we can keep going. Bug Bunny, actually an arthropod. It likes cold temperatures and rolls down steep hills for amusement. The hobby has gained so much traction that they now hold a yearly high... Kill rolling competition. Rare bear. Warning! Do not provoke. Do not show weakness. Potted plant. Warning! Do not provoke. Explodes when cornered. But why did it explode? Kill. Who planted this here anyway? 
<laughs> all right, all right. Also, there's a bunch of... There's a bunch of secret stuff here that is obviously secret stuff. And I'm actually getting super annoyed <laughs> that you can't do any... Like this guy. Fidget, fidget, fidget. Hush, 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 hush. And it's a question mark. That's obviously something. So this is just... I think we already talked about this. Yeah, we already talked about that. I hate Mondays. What about you? Did you deliver the package? Okay, so we still have the tofu in the package. It's fine. So, um, just to be 100% sure, I'm just gonna scan through all of these guys again. Wall is nice and cold. Hey, look at this cool thing I drew. Oh, it's the S and with the little horror guy in the lower right. You're not fooling me, bro. Do you think we'll also be friends after we graduate? Alright. Despite all my rage. I'm still a moly cage. Still has no idea what he's doing. The room is occupied. Can't be disturbed. No humans allowed. Room is for sprout moles only. We are two, okay. So I don't think I missed anything. Here's a tofu trivia for today. Silicon tofu is creamy and can be used for baking, dressings, to sauces, smoothies, and desserts. If you wish to, I didn't know that. I actually didn't know that. I, I haven't, I've never heard of tofu used in desserts. That's new. Most prettiest sprout mole. Yeah, most beautiful sprout mole. Never hurts to have tofu on you at all times. Would you be interested in purchasing that? I mean, it's only one clam. Might as well buy a bunch. Now, if only... If only you can buy more. Like, faster. I guess that's the cost of... I like how he says, I respect your decision when you say no. There is a sprout mole back there. I don't know. Is there? And this is... Did we get this joke book? Well, yeah, we already got this joke. Because it was too tired, ha ha ha. Oh crap, I... <laughs> yeah, and it's uh, sprout moles like this. Huff, huff, huff. Obviously, the, the, they... Obviously, they have something more to say, and the game just isn't ready to tell us, I guess? It just bothers me when I know their secrets and... You know... <laughs> You got to be careful, child. You could have ruined an incredibly delicate equation. If the measurements for this experiment are not 110% accurate, the chemical reaction may cause an explosion in a, with enough force to destroy this entire village. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that actually jump scared me. There's, here's the guy we can't fight anymore. Uh, I mean, I know it's so obvious, but I guess it's not time yet. For what, whatever obvious secrets the game is trying to hide from me. Um, I still haven't burned down the tree and I'm not going to. Are you guys still mad at, at me? Hmm, I see that you have tossed your fever in the way of spring. Yeah, they're still mad at me. I'm actually a Fall Guy. No relation to the Fall Guys game. I, I actually like Fall the best. It's my favorite season. Because it's not too cold like winter. And it's not too hot like summer. Spring is just overrated, honestly. Mayor Mo Jr., it's so hard to get a good night's sleep lady. If I only had something. Yeah, so obviously this guy needs a bed, but. Mm, there's no quest that's starting, so. I guess. This guy has the this guy has the problem. As you can see, yeah, you're you you aren't you the one in the competition? Um this is the humble abode of Rosa, but there is no Rosa here, so... Yeah, see, I, I know, I know there are secrets here. I just... I don't know. Anyway, this... Yeah, it's pretty obviously here, because this is the one that had the big plug at the side. Pick up the pace, boys! We must make haste! We're trying our best, Warden! This is as fast as we can go! Why isn't it working? I feel sick! Keep running, moles. Nothing gets done without a little sweat. Uh. Floating mirror. Your friend smile warmly behind you. Okay. Why are there ex- Oh, we can, we can exercise now. Really, guys? Really, guys? You unplugged- <laughs> You unplugged the city. I'll do it.
Bye -bye. Is that it? Yep, I think it's brightening, brightening it up. What I'd say, moles, hard work pays off. Now keep on running. Oh my god, if only you had a bit more brains. I like how this is the solution to their power problems. And now we're helping generate more electricity. <laughs> he don't actually give up. He was running so slow to begin with anyway. That's 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 hilarious. Hiro has no stamina at all. We are back. Is this are these things? They're not really things. Alright. We're back. Hi guys. Who's that guy? Someone, please help me! I'm in need of a handsome young gentleman! Is that me or is it Hiro? <laughs> you, yes! You there in the striped pants! Oh, it's Hiro. You, are, you magnificent beast! <laughs> yes, oh ho 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 ho! Yes, you look like you'll do just fine! Huh? Wow, uh, why thank you? Uh, I don't know what to say. Please, kind sir, will you help out a poor, lowly mole? I am desperately in need of your service. Well, since you asked so nicely, how can I refuse? Thank you, thank you, young lad. You are too generous. Please come this way now. Chop, chop. Wait, hold on. Can my friends come too? Ah, uh, yes, your friends. You are all here to see Sweetheart's quest, yes? If so, you will all meet again soon enough. Now come, sir. We must make haste. Time is short. Hero left the party. Sweetheart, sweetheart, she's the only one for me. Sweetheart, she's a goddess walking amongst us. We are so blessed. Yay, sweetheart, do you all have unique dialogue? Sweetheart is perfect, she makes no mistakes. My love for sweetheart knows no bounds. I'm gonna read all of it. Only one for me. Perfect. Okay, I think it's looped. What? It is not alive. Okay. The game reminding us that it's still a horror in the RPG. Don't forget the horror part. I used to only like Sweetheart ironically. Now here I am. What happened to me? I hear there used to be a library here, but then Sweetheart built her stage over it. Who needs to read when you have Sweetheart? H is for headstrong. E is for exemplary. A is for attractive. R is for radical. C is for the best, of course. S is for stunning. W is wonderful. E is for extraordinary. E is for exceptional. T is for tofu. Mmm, delicious tofu. My love for sweetheart knows no bounds. Some of these are unique, so you basically have to check all of them. A tomato by any other any other name would not taste as juicy. I came here with my family, but we were separated on the way here. I may never see them ever again. They're probably dead. I heard that Sweetheart is actually a donut. I wonder if the rumors are true. What? What do you mean she's a donut? Well, we're, we're about to find out. Are these actually doors? No, they're not. Okay. Is this flower actually interactable? No, we're not. The show hasn't even started. I'm already shaking. Why won't the shaking stop? I think you need to go get that shaked. <laughs> I don't think that's very healthy for you, my good sir. Sounds like you've had too much caffeine. I gave up my soul for this seat. I gave up my house for this seat. I gave up my college savings for this seat. I gave up my entire supply of tofu for this seat. Yeah, we go up here. We can't. All right. All right. Let's continue. Sweetheart's quest. Greetings, sweetheart fans. We apologize for the short intermission. Welcome back to a regularly scheduled program. 
During the break, we regret to inform you that a tragic accident has occurred right here on this very stage. <laughs> I, li I like how you have it framed and chained so quickly. It is at this time we announce the sudden loss of contestant number three. We will remember him fondly for the few seconds that we got to know him. He was truly a unique and irreplaceable soul. But the show must go on! I'm rip my voice, guys. Rip my voice. <laughs> Please give a warm welcome to our new contestant number three. Hailing all the way from the vast forest, it is our hero in shining armor. Literally, hero in shining armor. Get this, guys. Hero's a real hunk, standing at a whopping five foot seven. His passions include baking, cooking, and cleaning. And if that doesn't sound like the perfect man, check out his killer smile and mild personality. Come on, smile, do it. And now, once again, it's time to introduce the star of the show. Dim the lights, please. She emits beauty. She exudes grace. She truly has the most pulchritundious face. Dinus, I I said it wrong. Damn it. <laughs> maybe if they, maybe if it, the game mentioned it the third time, I'll get it right. Yes, you know who we're talking about. She's all uh, that is amazing and wonderful, and she is just about to set foot on this very stage. She is the one, the only, the magnificent. <laughs> She's not a donut. I've been lied to. <laughs> I can't do this, guys. An excellent entrance, my liege. Ah, yes! It is me! Hello, my stupid, adoring fans. We love you, sweetheart. Yeah, you're the best. We're named stupid, adoring fans. <laughs> sweetheart. We have brought three of the best bachelors in this world, in the world, onto the stage. Will today be the day that one of them steals your heart? Let's start with some questions. One thing that Sweetheart values most in a companion is complete and absolute obedience. Do you, contestant number one, agree? To pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life. Contestant number one, what is your answer? Uh, sure? I don't know. I guess. Playing hard to get, I see. What do you think about that response, sweetheart? Hmm. Just three feet tall? My, that is much too short. Send him off. To the dungeon! Hey, what did you say? The, 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 the dungeon? What the hell? Are those sprout moles with swords in their head? Uh, uh, help me! Goodbye. Now, on to contestant number two. We ask you the same question. There is no right or wrong answer. Just answer truthfully. Contestant number two. Will you pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? Well, uh, sure. If that means I won't get sent to the dungeon. <laughs> My word, this one. His, ve his very being offends me. Take him away, boys. <laughs> oh, what? Huh? Oh, they still caught him. Okay. Contestant number three. It looks like you're the last one standing. I'll ask the same question one more time again. No pressure at all. Do you, hero, agree to pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? Eh. Uh, well, no, that doesn't seem fair at all. Why would I do that? My, 
This one. He's absolutely immaculate. Could it be? A sweetheart in love? What an exciting turn of events! This must be fate, a match made in heaven. A match made in kidnapping, more like. Wait, but but I just said... Ha ha ha, yes, yes, you'll do just fine. Now, what was your name again? Uh-huh, it's, uh, 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 it's Hero, ma'am. Hero, my hero. We must go to the chambers at once. To my chambers at once. Guards, I have my chosen suitor. Take him away. Why why do we still need guards? I am the chosen suit. I am the chosen one! Guys, please do something! Uh I don't know, man. Seems like a you thing. Whoa, hero's gonna marry sweetheart? I didn't see that one coming at all. Kel, what are you saying? We have to help him. What do you want me to do about it? I don't want to go to the dungeon. <laughs> uh, Kel, you're so useless. Hero, you have to reject sweetheart. It's time, Hero. Your princess awaits. <laughs> uh, I don't think she's gonna listen to me. Just do it already. Okay, I'll try. Excuse me, sweetheart, ma'am. Ah, yes, my lovely hero. How I yearn for the sound of your sweet voice. Say my name again. Wow, haha, th that's so nice of you. I mean... Uh, why do I have to do this? <clears throat> I'm sorry, sweetheart, but I'm not interested. Wh wh why, whatever do you mean, my prince? I, uh, this is all really flattering and all, but you know, we only just met like a few moments ago and, well, I have to reject your, uh, offer? Oh, pish posh, don't be silly, hero. I've never heard anything sillier. It, it, it's true. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but I don't want to marry you. I think you're gonna get worse than the dungeon this time, Mr. Hero. This... This is preposterous! No! This... This is blasphemy! You dare reject, sweetheart! Everyone loves sweetheart! You hear me? Everyone! Send him off to the dungeon- See, I told you, it's gonna end up the same way, bro. Hey, stop right there! You can't take Hero, he belongs to us! What's this now? What is a non-sweetheart fan doing in the audience? Ah, I see. You must be Hero's fans! The nerve of you lot! First you make a fool out of me, then you interrupt me during my own show! I'm the one who makes the rules around here! Guards, take them away! What the hell? Now you've gone and done it, Aubrey. And we died. Oh man. Now we're all stuck in the dungeon. <laughs> oh, in all caps. Sorry guys, it's my fault that we're all in this mess. No, it's not, Hero. No one could have predicted that would happen. <laughs> Wait, it's Mustache Mole. <laughs> you fools! Don't you recognize me? It's me! Oh, it's Rosa. Rosa! The number one sweetheart fan in the world! I told you that you'd all pay for crossing me. Curses, we've been bamboozled! I should have known you were behind this, Rosa. It is true what they say. Revenge is sweet. Now rot, you peons. Rot in the dungeon forever. <laughs> Dang it, how are we ever gonna get out of here? We'll find a way. Come on, guys, let's think about this. 
Where do we even start? It's not like they just leave the, late, the gate unlocked, would they? Well, we keep reading that sprout moles are dumb, so I guess they would. <laughs> Looks like a job for Aubrey. Oh, wait, wow. Oh, we, we have the whole map, except for that one question, question, question mark on the lower right. Interesting. I completely forgot. I I completely forgot there was a world world map. If you know what I mean. Tofu. 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 No. Okay. These guys are actual fights. I I want to fight them. Hi, Harold. Why are you actually named Harold though? Oh, he's sad. Why are you sad though? How much HP did you lose? Mori is now happy. Oh, by the way, by the way, by the way, a commenter said that um, Omori gets creepier when you get to his second stage emotions, like uh, the second level happy, second level angry. So let's try to make um, Omori super happy. Sparkler, right? Yeah. There. And then if we and if if Harold doesn't die too fast, we can make Omori sad. Eh? What? No pupils happy? Okay, that that is that is actually creepy. That I actually don't like that. That is that makes me uncomfortable, man. That actually makes me uncomfortable. Okay, so whoever commented that, I see what you mean. I'll try to make uh, Omori double side next. Are you also open? Huh? Okay, well. Uh, do I, do I want to go down there? I guess I do. What are you? <laughs> oh no, they're, they're, gonna, they're about to ask me a question. All right, let's try to make, oh, wait. Let's try to make Omori double angry. Let's annoy Omori. All right, his, his angry is fine. Oh, come on, don't wink at the Mori. I want him. <laughs> I want him angry. I mean, yeah, I want him angry. I actually want him angry. Let, let, let's just double. Hang on, hang on. Let's do this again. Omori, you can attack. Aubrey, Toy. I know we have a present in here somewhere. It's not what you wanted. Kel. Annoy. There. Oh my god! That Om Look at that face! Look at that Omori face! His hair is a mess, he's just gonna- he's just uh, straight up gonna murder you! And anger actually beats sadness, so... Wow! The, the emotions, though. Fine, let's get into two. What are you? Oh, hi, Ma. <laughs> Do you have an axe taped to the side of your face? What's the last emotion? Sadness, right? Can we Do we have anything that makes people sad? A poetry book. Because Omori is the one that... Yeah, no, this- do we have more than one poetry book, though? We don't have- we don't currently have the means to double sad. I'll give- I'll give uh, Omori the sad- his sad skill back so we can check it out. Okay, that one's locked. That one has spikes. Krah! A special hell for you, my dear. 
Gra gra. Signed, sweetheart. Okay. Um, is this a? I. We can't do anything. I don't think it's a person thing. What is this? Oh, it's it's a kel thing. Uh, let's let's check out this upper portion and then let's go down the ladder. Oh, there we go. Uh, these are sweetheart. Oh, this is not fruit punch. Okay, sweetheart. You're not as sweet as I thought you are. Then again, I didn't really think she was sweet at all. Let's check down here. There's a switch over there. There's Marsha over there. Are you still... No, you're a happy Harold now. Okay. All right. Make yourself sad. Then someone... Make him even sadder. <laughs> So, Sadomori is... whatever. Whoa! <laughs> that, that's not actually... Ooh. I am sad and he is happy. It kind of works out. I mean, it, it is... It does look depressed, but it also looks angry. It's like depressed angry. All right, all right, and I learned some. Rico I learned ricochet. All right, so let's go into this room first. Oh no, what we're we gonna do? No one ever escapes the dungeon. Oh no. Oh, okay. There. Oh, what? I see. Can you please move? Huzzah! After countless failures, I finally almost made my escape. All I need to know, do now is find the exit. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. Is this a job for Hiro? Do I need to ask him to move away? No. This looks like a job for Kel. Alright. Let I now that I've seen Mari. Yep, yep, yep. Now that I've seen Mari, I want to go save before checking out. Oh, there! This is the other ladder, right? Yeah, yep, 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 yep. You got ramen. <laughs> I keep forgetting ramen comes from toilets. I don't know why. And I like ramen, by the way. It's kind of insulting. Hey, it's Mari. Mari, Mari, help us! We're stuck in the dungeon. Oh no! Please press the button. Thank you. There you go! Now come over here and enjoy a nice picnic with me. I promise you, you'll feel better right away. Okay, now that I can save, I can actually check out that apparently hell for me room. But first... Smash. Smash. Are these pickles? Ah yes, pickles. Would you like to eat some? Okay, I like pickles, but I don't like them that much. <laughs> to make it a, a straight-up snack. Okay, let's talk to Mari first, I guess. Hey, gang. Seems like you're all stuck. <laughs> Seems like you're all stuck in a little pickle. Ha ha ha. So, I snuck in some pickles. <laughs> Aw, yuck. I hate pickles. Next time, can you sneak in some jam instead? <laughs> I just thought of a joke. <laughs> Mari would sneak in some jam if, she, if we ever find ourselves in a jam. <laughs> That's for a different situation, Kel. <laughs> right now, we're in a pickle. We're not in a jam. <laughs> oh my god. Hero, I have a question for you. Was there any chance in the world that you'd have said yes to marrying Sweetheart? What? No way! You know I only have eyes for you, Mari. Oh! That's why Hero got super depressed. I mean, I, I, I kind of sensed it. I kind of sensed that they were a thing, but I didn't realize that they were that much of a thing. Ew! If there was ever a disgust emotion, that would be on Kel's system right now. 
Ale is right, Kel. Hero, that's not what I like about you at all. Ooh, shot down. <laughs> what, it's not? Then what is it? I can't tell you that, silly. It would ruin the magic. I like you for yourself. Oh, no. Okay, I don't really get it, but whatever you say. <sighs> Mari, you don't have to worry about Sweetheart at all. Sweetheart is the worst. I can't imagine anyone being in love with her. Wasn't she Captain with, Wasn't she with Captain Space Boy though? Hmm. Relationships like that are just shallow. You can't compare it to the real deal like what me and Mori have. Is this really how uh Sunny and Sunny used to see Aubrey? Well, I guess. Isn't that right, Amori? Well, then again, this is the the head space, so it might just be skewed differently. Amori? <laughs> And Amori says absolutely nothing about it. I think his facial expression changed into disgust as well. Okay, we open this. This goes where? What are you? Can go down here. Alright, this is... Well, hang on. Bam. Bam. Tofu. Basically, all you get from these things are tofu. Yeah, it's all tofu. And that opens up. Alright. You know that, that switch sound gives me PTSD because it reminds me of the switch sound from... Imposter Factory? It's kind of rip. Okay, let's go up here. Where does this go? Into a lock. All right, it's one of the luck. It's not alive. I hope it's not alive. Yeah, this one's alive. <laughs> oh no, I've been stuck down here so long. I feel like I can barely move a muscle. <gasps> eh? What's that face for? <laughs> oh boy. And that opens that one. All right. Ramen. <laughs> I should have known. Can I open it from this side? Can I open this door from the this the wrong side? You can, you can, you can. Um Let uh, let me check down here first. I, I I'm not sure if I've cleared out the the places I can clear out. Oh, anyway, let's just press this button first. What? <laughs> There was a button for that one guy to get out of the way. And that opens up the bottom one. Okay. I think that's all the buttons down here. So now we can focus on the ones up top. I believe. Anyway. Let this guy pass. Um, Let's check it out. Let's check it out. It was apparently hell for me. Cardboard boxes for no other reason than to take up space. Nourishment. Hey, this looks familiar. A vanity, but the mirror makes you look especially unflattering. <laughs> uh, a bunch of books, but all the pages are glued shut. Can we not? But the lens is covered with tape. What was the point of this room? A beautiful painting of the stars with reeks of melting. Pl oh, it's all fake. It's all. It, it's a symbolism for vanity or something. Uh, can we open this? We can't. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> all right. What's in here? Let me guess. It's tofu. 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 I? Is that I? I think it's I. Oh no, it was wrong. Well, it, it, it was lying in a dark cell. Um. So if... Hang on. If ever you know the solution, do you just not pick up the wrong keys? 
I think that's a that's a thing, right? What's the next other G? Hmm. Let's see. I have I I I have I have an eerie feeling I know what it's trying to say. But I don't want to spoil it yet. Not no, not, not really spoil more like I don't want to mention it yet. It's a bit too early for that. Anyway, let's go back down. So this is the only path open to us, right? Tofu. And when we break this open, it's gonna be... No tofu. Oh. Oh, we're out. I see. There is... There is another... Hmm. Oh, this one! We haven't opened this one. I got sent to the dungeon for smuggling. But old habits die hard. They said I've got some choice goods for sale, Patreon. Interested in buying? Um... Let's buy one of these because we used it. Buy two of these because it looks useful. Buy two of these because it looks useful. Jax, alright. So that's a store. Are we done? Because I, I, I'm, I'm really bothered there's one door there that we can't open. The, the thing with that ladder and button is that it goes nowhere. It doesn't, it doesn't correspond to our, it corresponds to our room here. <laughs> Can we go back in? Oh. oh, okay. Yeah, but it corresponds to a room that doesn't exist. It, it's, it's in this wall. Because if you go down here, right? Like, this ladder goes up to the room that you can't see. You can't actually see that room, and I think I've pressed every button. So, it must be a secret somewhere else. Alright, so you guys see that small room up there? You can barely make it out. But I think this is a classic case of hidden path through a wall. Yeah, okay. I was wondering how to get in here. This was the only room I couldn't get in. It is not alive. Okay, not alive. I've been stuck down here so long. Okay, same joke. <laughs> uh. Uh huh. Holy crap! Sweetheart, how many? Am I on? No, I'm. Yeah, there we go. How many? Also, I, I, I barely noticed, but the picture's changed. Because we're in somewhere. Yeah, yeah, the background of the picture's changed because we're in the, the underground area. Interesting. God damn. What is... What is the point of this place? I mean... <laughs> Can we even get through this? We can, we can. Life jam. <laughs> can we get through this again? Can we run through you? We cannot, we cannot run through you. Yeah, we have to fight him. Okay, I guess that's all we can do here. It's just a, a highlight to Sweetheart's cruelty, I guess. Also, uh, remember how Captain Space Boyfriend was actually Sweetheart's boy boyfriend. Is this where he used to live? If yeah, but it's so sad. Bunch of books, but all, all the pages are glued shut. It's like you can have a semblance of your room. There's there, there there even is no bed, but the lens is covered with tape. Also, this is weird. What do you mean the lens is covered with tape? Can't you just remove the lens, the, the, the tape? Okay, so I think that was everything back there. 30 clams. Two clams. 30 clams. 
I guess we smashing up jars for money now, boys. 30 clams. 30 clams. Actually, you know what? I, I'm curious. Ever since I walked through that wall, now I'm curious if there's something through the walls. Through the walls? I don't really like doing this, but... It's Omori. I need to go check. It's a it's it's an indie horror game. We're finally at the exit. Woohoo! Freedom at last! Let's get out of here. I want I never want to see another sprout mold again in my life. Okay. Sweetheart's Castle. Also sprout molds. I really hope that's not bl a blood fountain. Oh! <laughs> the dungeon! <laughs> halt, prisoners! Do you really think that you can escape that easily? It's back to the dungeon for you four! Darn, and we were so close too! Uh-oh, what do we do now? Think, Hiro, think. Come on, how do we get out of this? Oh, I got it. What? Ahem. On the contrary, Sir Knight, I think you have mistaken us for someone else. Mm-hmm, <laughs> yes. Where'd you get the sprout mold? Where did you all get the sprout mold mask? <laughs> Don't so be so quick to judge. We are sprout molds, indubitably. Oh, -ho, indeed, yes, quite. I am also a lover of tofu and sweetheart. Mm, delicious sweetheart. Delicious sweetheart. I mean tofu. Ye god, my eyes must have deceived me. I apologize, brethren. It is rather hard to see through this helmet. Very well, carry on then. I will resume my patrol. You lot ought to return to your stations as well as our dear sweetheart. P Princess? Arrives? What? Well, how's that for quick thinking? That was so smooth, Hiro. With his sprout mole mask, we'll be able to make it out of here in a cinch. Do we really have to keep wearing this, Hiro? Man's getting kind of itchy. Yes, Kel, we should keep them on until we get out of here. Come on, let's move. Let's move. What? <laughs> Come on. Both of you an umbrella. There we go. <laughs> sure. Can we talk to you? Harold's party rolls initiative. It's a 10. It's anybody's game. Uh... So they don't chase us, but if you get too close, they fight us. I see. You don't need to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can't see you because you have a disguise, but when you walk up to them, they, they notice. Okay. Um... Can I... Don't mind me just smashing some vases and jars and whatnot. What is... Oh no, he has an axe. I thought it was a friend. Candle bunny. Pyong? Aww. <laughs> gra, the royal kitchen. Gra, gra, servants' quarters. Gra, 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 the, the royal ballroom. Guess we can go here first. Is this the correct way? Ah, uh -huh, my dear sous chefs. I'm afraid my back just can't take anymore. It is at this unfortunate time that I announce my retirement. Oh, wait, chef, without you, who will lead us in our task of making a most magnificent cake for the main event? Sous chefs, it is now time for one of you to step up to the limelight. A cake must be baked today. Our very lives are on the line. Oh yes, I hear you, chief. As the most capable one of us, I will volunteer and take charge of this task. I won't fail you, I promise! Uh... Hey, you there! You four are sous chefs now! Help me in the kitchen pronto! What about your actual sous chefs? Good luck, you're going to need it! What? I... This does not inspire confidence. Hey, have you seen Sir Maximus around? That guy owes me some clams. We take our job seriously. Sweetheart's grill guard only accepts the best of the best. 
I have studied the art of combat all my life. If you are all work hard, maybe you, one day you too can become a Lucius. Back to your station, newbies. Uh, okay. Who are you? Who am I? No, no, no. Put your face away. There we go. I guess that's what we're doing today. What? Sproutmo gazes wistfully at Sweetheart's portrait. What? It oh, no, those are the servants' quarters. Anyway, uh, let's leave it there for now. I feel like there is so much more to explore in this game. Sudema chambre oh, I can't do this. Oh, Francois, I can't understand a single word you're saying. But you're so dreamy. I don't understand why French is dreamy. This reminds me of uh, a bed for Sprout Mo. Smells like dirty laundry. This reminds me of North Korea. <laughs> Ironically, you know how they have, you know how they have a picture of the great leader in all of the rooms and whatnot. Yeah, it reminds me of North Korea. Um, I guess we can end by seeing what can we? No, 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 no. Face away. Face away. Painting of an obnoxious looking person. Away! That way! Okay. So let's uh, let's just do this uh, cute scene. Oh wait, no, there's no picnic basket. I mean, there's a picnic basket, but there's no picnic. Sure, there are sure a lot of sprout moles here, and they all sure love sweetheart. I tried offering them some f one some food earlier, but she called me a poppyon and threw it back at me. Ah, uh, that must be... that must be that other girl. Sprout moles are peculiar creatures, aren't they? Anyway, yeah, if you want to see more Omori, maybe leave a like and subscribe for more. Oh, more Omori. <laughs> this has been Caffeinified Gaming and... What the hell is that?